trying to find the measure of a segment formed by secants. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is find the value of the given segments. Okay, we're given AB is 18. We're given BC is 37. And ED is 23. Now we need to find this one right here, AE. Okay, so once we know all these, we can substitute those into the relationship. Okay, so this relationship is AB times AC equals AE times AD. So this times the whole thing equals this times the whole thing. Okay, so I simplified it here a little bit. Okay, because remember that AC is equal to AB plus BC and AD is equal to AE plus ED, okay? So that's where this came from, this AB plus BC takes place of that, AE plus ED takes place of that, okay? Then when we substitute the values that we're given here, okay, so 18 for AB, okay, 37 for BC, and 23 for ED, okay? Now we need to solve for AE because that's what they're asking for. Okay. So what I first did was 18 plus 37 is 55. Okay. And this one is a little different. This one's tricky. What I did was I distributed AE to both. So that gives me AE squared plus 23 times AE. Okay. The next step, multiply this, get 990. Kept this the same. And now, what I did was I moved the 990 over. Okay, so now this becomes a quadratic equation when you set it equal to zero like this. And if you substitute into the quadratic formula, okay, you get two different answers. Right? Now, of course, okay, you cannot get a negative answer because we are trying to get length. That just, that wouldn't make sense. Okay, so you have to use some common sense. All right, it must be 22 then because we can't have a negative. Okay, and that completes our problem.